Hi, I'm Kate Finning, co-owner and supervising sound editor of Boombox Post. And today I'd like to walk you through how to reduce noise in your dialogue tracks using the AccuSonus AirD plugin. So let's go ahead and listen to some noisy dialogue. Here goes. So at the moment I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. And you can hear that we have a bunch of different kinds of noise in that. We have some traffic, some room tone, insects, and maybe even some people talking outside in the hallway. In addition to that, she is pretty off mic, which is what's making her sound hollow. Now this is a perfect example of an audio clip that you'd wanna be really careful with your noise reduction software because not only is it very noisy, we have a lot of different frequency ranges of noise to deal with, but when you are too heavy handed with your noise reduction, you can end up taking out too much of the meat of the sound and she could be left sounding even more hollow than she already is. So let's open up the AirD plugin and I'll show you a few of the main sections. First of all, we have the signal path. This in particular, this plugin is a denoise and a dereverb plugin, which I really, really like. So the cascade is in serial. That's what it's called in electronics when we do denoise and then dereverb. Parallel, the signal is gonna go to both of them at the same time and then get summed at the end. And then you can choose either denoise or dereverb and you see that it grays out the one that you're not using just in case if you're not clear. Here's the monitoring section, it's called output. You can listen to either in, out, or the difference. That difference button is a lifesaver because that allows you to double check yourself and make sure that you're not taking out too much of the meat of the sound inadvertently. So then we have the spectral graph, which is this area with four pieces up here. And I'm gonna play a little bit of the sound so you can see what happens. The only teacher here, so on the the head. See, we get that frequency information there. And that section allows the user to make an informed decision about what to take out in a particular frequency range. Then we have the advanced pane. You can open and close that uh, using this button right here above the D reverb knob. And this is where you'll deal with your artifact control. You can uh, change the amount of musical noise reduction up or down with this over here. So that's it. Let's dive right in and do a little bit of basic noise denoising to start out with. So we want to start with the ranges all the way up, which means no processing. The range is where you determine the level of which of the processing occurs in the specific band. So this is where we do this. You see you can change it in just one band, but I want to go ahead and change in all of them. So all the way up. And uh, keep in mind here that this when it's all the way up like that, there's no processing occurring. When you bring it all the way down and it says 100, that means that all of your processing is occurring. So intensity is a non-linear parameter that adjusts the processing um, for the specific band. And basically what it is, is it's telling the algorithm how confident to be in the noise reverb estimations. And that's your little blue circle up here. We wanna leave those most of the time at 50%, okay? Like, just like they are right now. So we're gonna say we wanna do denoise, and we're going to turn this knob to about somewhere between half and three quarters. That looks good to me. And then we're gonna start lowering the ranges and listening to the effect. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So and that I'm sounds the, pretty good to me. Teacher. So that's the first way that you can affect the sound. As you can tell, that's very, very simple. Um, could not be easier. It takes about, what, 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and dive into the more advanced joint processing where we use both modules. We want to put this into cascade. Uh, this is a little bit more of an aggressive signal path than the parallel. So if you want to end up with your sound a little bit more natural, you'll want to use the parallel, but I like to really get some bang for my buck and cascade is usually the way to go with that. We're going to start with low ranges, which we already have, but uh, let's lower them just a little bit more to be sure. And then we're going to start playing the sound and play the play around with the denoise knob first. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So you can hear that I'm we need less now that so we've the introduced the D-reverb. So, so let's I'm bring the, that down to there. The head teacher. Same thing with so the D-reverb. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. 
So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head. And I feel pretty good with it like that. So we're going to now solo each band and then adjust the range until the noise floor is just barely audible. You solo with this little S down here. Whoops, we're still linked. Hit this to unlink. And this one we don't need much, so I'm going to leave it somewhere around here. Here you can hear there's a lot of noise in this band. And that is really helping us. Again, you can hear the frequency of the noise coming up, and that's because you're dealing with a different band. This is really where we want to dig in there. And let's do the final one. This particular band is where we get all the insect noise. And when I do this um, particular type of processing where I grab the individual spectral bands, I really like to do this with headphones with the volume turned way up so you can really, really hear that noise floor. Um, so now let's engage the artifact controls because I did hear that we're getting a little bit of musical noise. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, Do you hear the that? head teacher. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. And that sounds pretty good to me. And finally, we're going to switch over to the difference monitoring just to make sure that we're not taking out too much. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. And I feel pretty good about that because you heard we're just getting a little bit of her and mostly it's basically almost all noise. So let's do one final, final listen. And this is our cleaned up version. So at the moment, I'm the only teacher here. So I'm the, the head teacher. So and that sounds great to me. I hope you agree. Have a great day.